Our majors are already doing research, making art, and working with community organizations. They're active on and off campus in very personally meaningful work. What they need is the time and space to bring all of that together. The capstone provides HumBio majors with an opportunity to reflect upon their undergraduate career and how it interacts with their broader interests and values. Although it is a requirement for graduation, the capstone does not have to result in a traditional piece of scholarly writing, but might take other forms, including creative writing, visual arts, and new media. Workshops will be provided to help students learn the skills necessary to manage their unique capstone and build creative confidence. The minimum capstone requirement can be fulfilled by taking the Human Biology Practicum, Humbio 191, which includes five required workshops, a written reflection, and presentation. The practicum is appropriate for students who have undertaken supervised community-engaged service, research, for example, HBREX or BioX, or pre-professional experiences related to their area of concentration topic. It is well suited to any HumBio major, whether they wish to present a career-focused, career-enhancing project presentation, or they prefer to focus on personal values and purpose. While taking the practicum, students can expand their capstone through the Human Biology Synthesis, HumBio 192. This course of study provides an opportunity for students to craft a culminating, creative work of scholarship based on a synthesis of personal and academic interests, including service projects, and will be exhibited during their senior year. My project's title is Improving Intergenerational Outcomes for Young Mothers Transitioning from Foster Care. You know, a quote I got from one of the young women was, you know, I've been asked to report my story so many times, but I've never been asked to tell it like you're or you're the first person to ask me to tell it. So I think, you know, by pulling in all of these stories of a lot of young women able to I'm able to sort of build out these frameworks of like what are some actual key action points that um, providers can take to really support you know, young women in attaining education or finding employment, this sort of path to self-sufficiency. And there's something really beautiful about the process of writing a thesis, and I want to do something research-based, but I also feel like pr I want to be able to present my findings in a way that's more approachable. I've actually looked at like a lot of design studio sort of white papers, um, summarizing a lot of their work as inspiration for the final deliverable that I would like to produce. And so I think being able to um, bring in photos, stories, and then, you know, actual visual frameworks and graphics, which is how a lot of people think, um, how they sort of translate, you know, big lofty theory and insights into, oh, this is actually how we could, you know, bring a youth on this journey. Um, and these are the particular point, like inflection points in which we can provide really critical support. The capstone requirement is also fulfilled by completing a HumBio honors thesis. Uh, my capstone project is an honors thesis and it's about iron overload in pediatric patients that have received stem cell transplants. And this is a capstone to me because it represents um, a lot of the work I've put in throughout my four years at Stanford. Um, and it allows me to um, kind of synthesize that work into a final project, my own project. The capstone requirement is also fulfilled by completing non-human biology programs. The notation in science communication, interdisciplinary honors, or biology's senior reflection. It's for science students who have an interest in art and they have the entire year, year to pursue a project that is rooted in a topic that is science-based, but the product or the end result is actually in the form of art. I am doing um, a piece of creative nonfiction. So it is, it's a brief memoir actually, and it was inspired by a trip I took to India this past summer. Um, I was there for six weeks and I was working with a local organization on various issues in the community related to maternal and infant health. Um, and so for me it was actually difficult in the beginning to, to really tap into that creative side because I didn't see myself that way. So to have this group that is constantly pushing you to do that and to have a project that we're in which you have to do that um, was really a great experience because 
one of the things that Humbio equips you with is this ability to connect all of these things that you've learned, whether it is in psych or molecular bio or evolution or whatever it may be. And I think with the capstone, that, that's what that allows you to do. It allows you to pick one, one thread that you have been drawn to for some reason and really, really dive deep and, and find a way to connect it to all these other things that you've learned. It's been one of my most, it's been the thing I've enjoyed the most really, um, is to get back into writing and to be able to call myself both an artist and a scientist and say that, that that's okay and find, find a project in which it's, I, can, I can blend both.